He says, I like to say, look, every single technology that we've ever developed from the wheel forward does, does at least two things. One is it makes life more convenient, number one. And the second thing is that it potentially draws us further apart. Mm. Not always, but it potentially can draw us further apart. Mm -hmm. And given that I have a penchant for wanting to do life on my own, the way I want to do it, how I want to do it, when I want to do it, I will tend to move in a direction that moves me away from you. So I have to, with intention, come to be with you and you with me. Wow. This is what evil would want to do, like wants to isolate us. Where we read in Genesis, it's not good for man to be alone. Evil counts on isolating us in order to do its work. And so technology can make things more convenient. I can discover that I have a friend from high school that I haven't known about for a long time. That, that's a great thing. But then the question becomes, what am I going to do with that? Mm. So in my isolation, I can get myself to feel in superficial ways connected for a short period of time that I, uh, so I, in, in the feeling of connection that I'm reading about what, you know, what you're, what you're doing, what my other friends are doing, all this can be effective. But, you know, Facebook is not ever going to ask me the question, Kurt, how are you? Facebook is not going to come to me and say, here's the part of my life that is really broken right now, and I would love to hear you listen to me. Facebook is not going to ask me, Kurt, what's your deepest longing, and what is your greatest shame? I'm not going to have an embodied confessional experience with social media. Instead, I'm doing something that my brain knows I'm doing by myself. I might be reading about you, but I'm not speaking with you and my brain can tell the difference.